Welcome to some stuff that I didn't plan barely. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Hello, emos. It's Forever Confused Emo, also known as I Howard in today. Oh, my Christmas tree just came on. That's cute. Okay, today we're going to be doing the last set of things for Pottermore. And the last thing I have to do... Mom, get a recap. We discover my Hogwarts house is Gryffindor. We Gryffindor! We discover my Ilvermorny house is Pugwidgey. And we discovered that my wand is fir wood with a dragon heartstring core at 12 and a half inches and brittle flexibility. Today, we will be learning what my Patron is now this is kind of an interactive one um so i'm gonna talk about the patronus charm the patronus is the most famous and famously difficult defensive charm the aim is to produce a silvery white guardian or protector which takes the form of an animal uh one of the most powerful defensive charms known to wizard kind the patronus can also be used as a messenger between wizards as a pure protective magical concentration of happiness and hope is the only spell effective against dementors um the majority of wizards of witches and wizards are unable to produce patronus and to do so is generally considered a mark of superior magical ability wait oh the ability to do so is like super powerful so if you can make a corporal patronus it's like ah! um so yeah it's a it's a big deal so we're going to do discover your patronus um and the way this works is different than the other ones this is better with headphones but you know Turn up the volume all the way to 100. And uh, is my Bluetooth connected? No, it is not. No, it is not. So I'm going to show this to you. The way this test works is that it's not really a test. It's more like an experience. So it's interactive. There's like a whole video process, everything. It's also timed. So you have to answer your questions honestly, but also quickly. So it's kind of like the first thing that comes into your head. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, so to start off, you click on Discover Your Patronus. Hopefully we won't get interrupted during this, but... I'm not going to make any promises. It says better with headphones, but I'm going to keep the volume just turned up so you can hear it. Okay. The Patronus is a kind of positive force, a projection of the very things that Dementor feeds upon. Hope, happiness, the desire to survive. That's a quote from Remus Lupin. And that is a stag right there. That's James Potter's Patronus and Harry Potter's Patronus. Okay. Discover your Patronus. You can only discover your Patronus once. The questions are timed. Go with your instincts. Begin. Okay. Think of your happiest memory. Alright. I'm not going to tell you what it is. So. Leaf, blade, thorn. Uh, leaf. Bright or shadow? I like shadow. I'm gonna get something inspired by Nico D'Angelo. I just know it. Something's gonna be dark and spooky. The last time I did this, I got West Highland Terrier. Over, under, around. Ain't no mountain high enough. I'm gonna go around. You must answer quickly. Think of your happiest thought and try again. Ah, oh, shh. What's happening? I am thinking of my happiest thought. Stone, wood, earth, wood. Oh my god, this takes forever. This tastes longer. I am thinking of my happiest Oh, something is happening. Something's trying to form. Okay, we got we got something. 
This is like super intense. Free or safe? I want to be free! I love my freedom. This is so intense. Black, white, gray, black. That's what I'm wearing right now, but I'd also always go with black. Like my soul. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think we're there. I think we're there. Click and A Dun mare? Is that a type of horse? Oh, I got a horse! Oh, I want with the sub. Oh, she's so pretty. Can I make it do anything? Wait, mare? Ugh. Turn to my profile. So I'm looking up what dun means. A uh, dun is not a specific breed of horse, though most duns have shared lineage somewhere in their bloodlines. The dun coloration is believed to be a result of a genetic dilution gene that affects the coat color of foals. Dun characteristics. The easiest way to spot a true dun is to look for the dorsal stripe on his back and striping of the on the legs, similar to what you might have seen on a prehistoric horse or a zebra. All true duns will have the dorsal stripe going down the spine from the mane through the base of the tail. Dun coloration can occur on top of almost every other coat color. Okay, so let's look at a picture of a dun mare. Oh, the Christmas lights just turned on. I'm looking at pictures and they're so cute and so pretty and majestic and such a good baby. Such good babies. That's a champagne moan. I mean, mare, or whatever. Come on! Okay, there's a dun mare. Oh, look at the little braid and the tail, so cute. Oh, look at the pretty little pony. Oh, so cute, so majestic, so good. Okay, so I don't know what the symbolism is of getting a horse, but uh, that's the end of our Pottermore journey. I hope you found this interesting. Um, I did, now that I know everything about myself. And a lot of things have changed, actually. Um, I used to be a Slytherin. <laughs> and Slytherin. <Yes! laughs> and a Thunderbird and my wand was completely different and my Patronus was a West Highland Terrier but I'm really proud of all of this um, I'm having fun this was great actually um, please like this video if you like Harry Potter if you have liked this journey of Pottermore if you're liking vlogmas so far then thank you for all this support subscribe for a video Subscribe for more content like Harry Potter or baking or Disney stuff or whatever I've made in the last couple of days. I don't remember completely. Uh, comment what videos I should make next. I'm always taking ideas. Um, follow all the social media links in the description below and hit that notification bell because I am making a video every day during the month of December. I know my Thursday video didn't come out. It came out on Friday. I know that's been happening a lot. Thursday will probably just be like a nothing day. Um, and thank you for being here. Bye.